Welcome to Fab Monday. This week we'll talk about how to use VS Code to edit notebooks on Microsoft Fabric. Let's jump into it. Here I have a workspace, sales lake house, and some notebooks. Let me open one of the notebooks. It's a very simple query over the tables of this lake house. Let me clear the result of the query and we have this tempting button here. Open in VS Code. There are a lot of requirements for you to really edit a notebook in VS Code. But on this video I will not go through all the requirements and installations for that. Uh, you can see the requirements on a blog post that I published a few weeks ago. Let's go directly to the editing process. So I will open this notebook on VS Code. First it asks for permissions to access the URL. OK. Open. And it shows us the Explorer. It moves to the Synapse window, starting the preparation of the environment. And you can see it's asking us to set the local folder. What this means? Set a local work folder. Will this local work folder be by workspace? No. We'll have one single local work folder for our, our workspace. What happens is that once I set this folder for every workspace that I decide to work with, a different subfolder will be created. Every time I move from one workspace to another, a different subfolder will be created. Let's see an example about this. Set. I will create a new folder, new folder, my portal, and let's select this as my local work folder. It downloads the notebook that I asked it to work with. In order to open a notebook, I need to open the notebook on the Explorer window and from this point I can open the notebook and execute the notebook. But before doing this, let's analyze the Synapse extension. How the Synapse extension works? We can see the Sales Lake House here which is the workspace that I had open when I opened the notebook. I can see the notebooks inside this workspace. And I ask her to open one of the notebooks. Once I ask her to open one of the notebooks, this notebook I ask her to open is present locally on my machine. So it appears with the letter L on the status. At the same time, there is another notebook on the same workspace which I haven't downloaded. So it's present with the letter A on the status. This means one is local, it's present on my local machine. The other is only remote, it's not present on my local machine to be edited. You may, may be noticing I have access to lake houses. Yes, I have access to lake house. I have access to the sales lake house contained on this workspace. I can see the tables of the sales lake house contained on this workspace. I can make a preview of the table. See, I can have a preview of the content of the table on my local Visual Studio Code. 
And I can also see the files, the content of my files in the late house, the files folder. And for each file, I could download the file if I would like so. The Visual Studio Code allows that. So we have the lake house here. Once we pass our mouse over one notebook, we see these options. To update the source folder, this means to download the notebook or publish the resource folder or open the notebook folder. What does this mean, open the notebook folder? This means this notebook is local. The same option doesn't appear for the remote notebook. I don't have this option for the remote notebook. I can't use the option open the notebook folder. This option. What this means? It's extremely simple. Uh, if I choose this option, it just jumps to the Explorer window. Because to open the notebook, I need to open the notebook from the Explorer window. So from here, I can open the notebook. I prefer to work with the notebook open and with the lake house visible. So I jump back to the Synapse window and I can see the Sales Lake House and I can start working with this notebook. In order to execute any piece of code on this notebook, I need to select the correct kernel for the execution. See here at the side the option Select Kernel. So I need to select the correct kernel for the execution. Select kernel, Python environments, and the correct kernel is Synapse Spark kernel. This kernel, when selected, will make the execution of the code, of the PySpark code, to happen on the Fabric Portal. The execution will not be locally. I'm triggering the execution locally. I'm getting the execution locally. But this code is going to the Fabric Portal to be executed on Fabric Server. That's what this kernel does. Use the Fabric Server for the execution of my code block. So I can execute the code And I can see the result of my code execution, of my code block execution on this notebook. I can make changes to the notebook. Save these changes. And close it. Take a look what happens with the notebook here once I made the changes. The notebook now shows the letter M, which means this notebook is modified and it's not published yet to the portal. So the portal doesn't know about this modification yet. What should I do if I would like to really publish this notebook to the portal? Once the notebook is modified, I have an additional button exactly to publish this notebook to the portal. So, let's test the buttons. First with the remote one, I would like to illustrate how I can download the remote one, choose the option to download the remote one. And this remote notebook will become local. The letter A on this status will become L. And on the modifier notebook, I will publish the modifier notebook to the portal. The letter M became again a letter L. This means this notebook is present on my local environment, but is not modified. It's exactly the same as the remote notebook. So if the notebook is already published, 
I can go to the bottom and open again. Take a look on this number. What I did was exactly to change the limit. It was 1000, I changed it to 100. So the change I made on my local VS Code was published to the remote workspace. In this example again, edit the notebooks and play with the notebooks locally. What's the advantage? Besides that many of you may prefer to develop the notebooks on VS Code instead of developing the portal, we have additional advantage of for that. The additional advantage is that once we are controlling the notebooks on our local environment, we can publish our local environment, the notebooks on our local environment, to a source control environment. We can publish this to an Azure DevOps, for example, and insert the notebooks in a source control environment. There are some limitations on these examples. One of the limitations is that the need of the notebook to be in the same workspace as the lake house. As I explained in previous videos, this is not something that I like. I, I made a video exactly to explain how to break down the objects in different workspaces. But to edit locally, at the moment the notebook needs to be on the same workspace as the lake house. For example, I have a different workspace here and clicking on this button, it opens the list of workspace for me to choose a different workspace. So let me change to sales notebooks. A workspace that contains only notebooks which use the sales lake house. The problem is, uh, although I can open these notebooks, I can bring them locally and open them. Due to the fact they are in a different workspace, they will not execute correctly. The execution will not work correctly and will result in an error. I believe this error will be fixed very soon. We have a very close fix for this error, but at the moment, this is one of the limitations that we have. However, another feature we have here is about editing Spark job definitions. The portal doesn't allow us to edit the code of Spark job definition, but we can edit Spark job definitions here on VS Code. Let me change the workspace. On this workspace, I have here a Spark job definition, optimize maintenance. And I can see the files on this Spark job definition. I also have some limitations in relation to the Spark job definitions. For example, Lake Houses. It shows me only one Lake House called Demo Lake House. Let me illustrate for you how this, unfortunately, is not correct. I'm on the workspace Lake House Demo. I will filter by Spark job definitions. We have exactly the job definition optimized maintenance. And we have three Lake House linked to this Spark job definition. Three lake house, not one. However, 
on the Visual Studio Code, we can see only one lake house. Why? Because this Spark job definition is on the Workspace Lake House demo. And the only lake house in this workspace is the demo lake. The other two lake houses linked to this Spark job definition are in different workspaces. So the Visual Studio Code is not capable to show them to us. That's an unfortunately problem. Uh, anyway, I can edit this file, debug Spark job definition. Let's wait a bit when I choose. It's a strange name, debug Spark job definition, when in fact what it is doing is downloading the file and it will allow me to open the file on my local machine. So I'm capable to edit the code using Pack Editor, Spark, Python editors in Visual Studio Code. So we can notice there are also some limitations on this Spark job definition, but at least we can edit using a Python editor. What we can't do in the portal, we can't use a Python editor in the portal to edit a Spark job definition. In summary, we can use Visual Studio Code to edit our notebooks. We have advantage using Visual Studio Code to edit our notebooks, but there are still some problems, some bugs, and we need to deal with them and wait a bit more for them to be solved, and probably they will be solved very fast. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next week.